What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? It's just getting more rainy. I hope you're having a great, blessed, growing, and prosperous day. Today is Monday, February the 17th. Look at it outside, you guys. It's beautiful out here. The weather is all types of crazy, you guys. It feels like spring, but it's, we're in the middle of winter. So today we're going to be transferring, transplanting, and transferring some of our plants. And we have a special guest in the house, one of our skinny boy gardeners, an original member, you guys. You may know her as the one and only Lisa the Lag. Welcome to the Skinny Boy Farm. Yes. Yes. It's Lisa the Lag, you guys. How you doing, Lisa? I'm doing fine. How you doing? Yes. Yes, you guys. Yes, you guys. Oh friends from school we go way back like Cadillacs and we ain't gonna tell you our age all right how about that okay okay so today we're gonna make this short and sweet because we don't want to lose our uh, sunlight and we have little man here with us as well can you see him over there you guys can you see him yes train them up in the way that they should go and they will never depart from it so we're gonna make this short and sweet so as you know we started some tomato plants in our makeshift greenhouses of course, we have our hole at the bottom for drainage, and these did pretty good. Then we have some large peppers. These are large green peppers, you guys. And I put them in here as an experiment. So today, what we want to do is give these babies a new home so they can grow large and healthier and stronger for the spring that's about to be here in about 45 days. Okay. So Lisa, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start transplanting, okay? You take that one and you just get your little garden tools, you guys. That's all you need. It doesn't take much. You, I told you, we don't spend a lot of money. We are very frugal shoppers. Yes. This is one of my favorite shoppers as well, you guys. She turned me on to a lot of different things that are cheap and they work. So we already have our pre-mixed soil starting mix, which is our burpee, a little cocoa core, some vermiculite, and a little bit of worm casting. So you see how soft and fluffy it is? Go ahead, feel that, Lisa. Get your hands dirty, girl. Pull yeah. your jacket up. Get your hand dirty. Go ahead, get in there. Real nice and fluffy. You feel that? Yes, you guys. Little man, you want to try it? Come on. You want to try Look, feel the soil. You want to feel it? I don't want your sucker. <laughs> you want to touch the soil? There you hey, go. Ooh, wee. Now yes, throw it in. Guys. It. Oh, okay. There you go. He's smart. You got. See, we Already. didn't even have to tell him. He know what to do. Okay. <laughs> here, here you go. See, we didn't put you put some more in there? there. You want to put some more in there? We're just gonna let the um, little kid have him some fun, so we can get down to the real surgery, you guys. Yay! Yay. <laughs> He's a great gardener, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? These are our containers that we got from the Dollar Tree, you guys. One dollar, okay? Yes, you gotta hold on, wait a minute. And these are our planters, plastic regular planters. Yes, wait a minute, we're gonna put it in. At the bottom, they have three little holes. Wait, Yes, he's ready to go, you guys, so we're gonna hurry up and get this going. Mm -hmm. So I use my little garden rake, and I just poke out the hole. Oh. We really poked that hole out, third right? Third just stir it around. Make and if you do something like this, you guys, if you poke an extra hole in your container, don't worry about it. That's just extra drainage. It's okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to give Lisa the tool and let her do hers. Hopefully I'm not going to... Mm, see? And, and hey, go, see, we're learning. Right. These are the Dollar Tree containers. Wait. So be careful. Maybe you want to use a screwdriver when we do it next time. Okay? All right. That one came out a little better. Even though this See? one was a little bit larger, but not that big. See, you're going right along with us, you guys. This is what you get when you go to the Dollar Tree. So, hey, we're cheap gardening. It's okay. It'll work the same. So, now what we're going to do is fill our containers with soil. Ready? Ready? Go. Come on. Yay! Yay. Come on. And a quick fix for a little piece of hole like that that's uh, missing. On, get you a little here. piece of plastic. Yeah, huh. Just get here. you a little piece of plastic, right? And sit right over top of that hole. That way you won't lose a lot of soil. You see that? I just stuck the plastic over top of the soil. And I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to get um, deep down into it, y'all. Okay? okay? I'm going to well, get down into go. it. Yes. Hmm. See that, you guys? Have fun in your garden. Get okay. dirty. Have fun. 
Get the kids involved. Let them help. See? Okay. He's enjoying this so much. Yes. You guys, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. There you go. That's what it's all about. Yes, he said it. That's what it's all about. And he is enjoying this, you guys. Have fun with the kids. Share with family and friends, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins. Uh-uh, all of them. Okay. Go like this. There we go. Go like this. Yes. Yes. Go like that. You see that, you guys? Okay. Yeah. So, come on, let's do this. This is one. my container here. Let's we have it one. full all the way to the rim. Yes, yeah, come on. Scrape it on there. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. You want to leave a little space because we want to add more soil yes. once we all plant. Right, hold on, let's check it. And we're just going to pat okay. down a little bit. Okay. We're going to let Lisa okay. and Little Man get theirs patted down. Yes, check it. I think that's you got it. it. Wait a minute. No. Let's get a little bit more. No. Here you go. Put some in here. We're going to give him a project to work on. Here. Put some in there. Look. Put some in there. All right. There we go. Here you go. Here, man. Look. Look. Go over there. Look. Hmm. Go right there. Put, put the dirt in there. there for me. Okay? Hmm. You going to put some in dirt in here for me? Hmm. Put some in there. Like that. Go, go, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. There you there go. There you go. Scoop some. Put some in there for me. Okay, you guys, so we have our little containers. And Lisa, tell the little people about yourself. I'm doing all the yakking, y'all. Because I'm just a guest. You know, I'm just come on here just to do a help while he's talk. I'm going to do, well, as he's talk, I will demonstrate as, you know, as we go ahead and put it in the plant. Well, of course, you know, like I said, my name is Lisa. Rand and I, we're our high school friends. We really didn't know wasn't close in high school nope. but now since this garden came along we got a little close due to this garden yep he has helped me um with mine last year um i did start it kind of late in the summer but i did pretty good my garden came out wonderful until great the friendly little pet came in and destroyed the garden even though i did have some that survived but this is going to a new season. We're starting all over and hoping I have a wonderful garden this wow. season. Yes, yes, you guys, yes. We're claiming it already. Yes. Okay, so come on this side, Lisa, and put our, uh, our containers close to the camera. Okay, you guys, what we're doing is we're delicately transplanting our peppers and tomatoes. So the way I like to do it, is I hold my container, you can take that one, and I keep the same soil, and I just kind of turn my container just to loosen it up, just a little bit, just a little bit, till I start seeing the stuff start to move around inside. Mm -hmm. See? You see the dirt start to fall around? That's okay. The plants are stronger than you think. So we just want to move them around. There you go. So we're keeping the same soil that they came out of, so they're not going into too much shock. Okay. And you see how that loosened up? It just loosened up like that. The plants are kind of floating around everywhere. Yes. See that? Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're good to go right there and stop right there. So now what we're going to do, I have a one, two, three, four, five, six plants in here. And this is to buy us some time, you guys, for the spring. This is not their permanent home. So I'm going to go ahead and... Mix the soil that they came out of. I'm going to make some holes all the way down, probably to the second line of your finger, because these are longer. So we're going to poke our hole like that, straight all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that, you guys. Eight little holes with your finger. Perfect. Great job. Great job. Show sure you guys. Yeah. Look at hers. Hers look better than mine. Hers is. <laughs> is it true they say the girls do it better? Sorry. Oops. Okay. Okay. So now this is the very important part. We're gonna come in a little closer. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put your hand right here, okay? And let your let your plants come out on their own, okay? Just roll them out on the table. Just roll them out on the table. The picnic table is not mad at you, see? I'm just letting them fall out on the table, you One guys. Yep. Just let them fall out on the table. There we go. 
because we don't want to ruin any of the roots. You see that? She got a perfect one straight out. And what she's doing is taking them and putting them straight down in the ground. And she's putting some of her furry, her furry stems further down because they will turn into roots. Thank Miss Cheryl Tally Moss. Yes, thank you. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pepper. Look at look how long that root is on this teeny pepper, you guys. They are alive. So we're going to go ahead and put this down in there like that. Just let it fall. And plant it all the way up to the leaves almost, okay? So we're going to take another. See? Be very gentle. Very gentle. And plant it all the way up to the stem. See that? Now this is buying us some time on our large peppers. You guys, you know I'll talk through the whole video. Lisa over there working, I'm over here talking. Look at look at that, y'all. Yes, I'm supposed to be working. He's supposed to be doing all the talking. This is gonna be my fourth video today alone. That's how beautiful the weather was today, you guys. See? It's four in there already. Make sure my holes are down there. Oops. See that? We don't want to disturb any of the roots. Just want to put them in nice and gently. I see you over there, Lee. I see you. <laughs> Trying to be gentle. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing great. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're doing so good over there. Okay, I got two more to plant. And I'm just going to go through my soil. Or did I plant them? Maybe it was only six, you guys. Yep, I think that's all of mine. I only had six. And that's okay. There you go. Look, transplant it. Peppers transplant it. I want to take the old soil. Put back in here. Old soil. Oh. I did find another one. There it is, you guys. One more. <laughs> you guys, gardening with friends is fun. Yay. Yay. It is so much fun. I love Yay. gardening. Yay. And sometimes when I'm by myself, I just wish I had somebody else to look Yay. at it and see what I'm talking about. So thank you, Lisa, you for are being here. So welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. And we're not gonna erase this video, you guys. This thing is going up <laughs> as soon as we make it, okay? So you guys gonna see video number four today. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So these are my transplants, you guys. I'm getting just there, that guys. fast. Oh, take your time. Take your time. She's working with tomatoes. So we're going to give her her time and put some more um, over that uh, fuzzy. You know how Mama, uh, Mama Cheryl told us to do? Mama Cheryl said, cover up that fuzzy. Because they don't come in some new roots. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some good, strong tomatoes. Oh, you did all yours already, mm -hmm. too? Okay. Okay. One of them, you know, they didn't make it. Hey, that hey, point. that's a good part of gardening. Some make it, some don't. Some live, some won't. Okay. All right, guys. And here is my transplant. Can you that's see this? Lisa's. And this is mine. So you guys, you're going to keep following us, right? So what we're going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle the excess soil just on there. Just so it has some of what it came from, you know? Then I'm going to go over here and get some of our rainwater. And I'm just going to gently put some water on here, close to where I planted the plants. Just like that, you guys. That's all. That's all I'm going to do. It's already moist. The rainwater looks dirty because it's rainwater. And it's been collected. See that? I'm going to get Lisa some rainwater. Yes, you having fun over there in the dirt? Yes. 
and you can just pour it close to your uh huh. Yeah, you guys, spring is almost here, you guys. Oh my god, we're really gonna be out working in the yard. Yes, guys, and I cannot wait to get my garden started, she especially has a out great in the garden. yard. She has a great garden. This was her first time gardening last year, you guys. She blew my mind. A lot of her things grew way bigger and better than mine. And I was calling myself, showing her and teaching her. You just don't know, you guys. Every gardener is different. It doesn't matter how, how long you've been gardening. You put your love, your fingers, your hands in it. What you grow will grow. Okay? Her stuff did excellent last year. Yes. And it's doing great this year. Check her out. Check her out. Yes, Lisa and Lacks. then this year, I'm going to have a fence. So I don't have to worry about the dog getting in my garden and destroying my plants. Oh, yeah, she did have a dog that kind of came and ate up everything one day. I was so hurt for her, but she bounced back. I was hurt, she too, because I was back. ready to give up. I even had tears in my eyes to the yeah, point that I was, I was ready to scratch, pull up everything, and I was just going to say, forget it. True story. True story. Forget it. And if you guys have been following along, Looking at gardening with Skinny Boy Grandy, beginners and experts are welcome. You will see her story from beginning to the end, from the time we started. You will see her story. So, you know, encourage her too, you guys. Follow her on Facebook. Hit her up. Encourage her to start her YouTube channel. <laughs> she mentioned it. She may start doing some videos for you guys. She already does videos. So, I mean, she just have to post them to YouTube. So you guys can, you know, see her worldwide. Okay, you guys? And shout out. Don't forget, I am the Gardener of the Week on Black Farmers Nationwide. Give me yes. some. Yes. Yesterday was the first day they put my information up. So I'll be on there for seven days, you guys. Thank you, Black Farmers Nationwide. I love you guys. You're the best. So I think we're done here. Look. So you guys, this is what we did. We just transplanted. We're buying time. I'm going to look closer. We're just buying time, putting these in a place that they can get larger and bigger and healthier until we plant them outside in the garden. So it's your skinny boy, Randy. And I'm Lisa Lack. And remember, live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it. We love you guys. You're the best. Peace out.